It's not easy to summarize 60 years of life, experiences, and meetings in 84 minutes. How do you explain that? I can't. But I know I encountered something beautiful that was life-changing. That's why I'm here. The documentary La Strada Bella, The Beautiful Path, tries to explain that life-changing event. It's a collection of stories that details the 60 years of life of the Communion and Liberation Catholic movement. In 2014, 60 years after the start of this path, and almost 10 years after the death of our founder, Luigi Giussani, I asked myself how I would tell a friend what it means to be a part of communion and liberation and belong to this movement. I wanted to explain why one has the need to live this experience. New York, Uganda and Brazil are just some of the places where the documentary unfolds. More than 600 testimonies were collected from 43 countries where communion and liberation is present. Many recall how they knew the founder of the movement. Because when I met Father Giussani, this man who doesn't know me, he takes me as something so special. I wished that if at least one of these women could meet that gaze. This Ugandan nurse's work with women infected with AIDS is just one of the many touching testimonies collected. It is not just an experience of charity, of help, of solidarity. It's much deeper. It's an experience of the Christian gaze upon the destiny of mankind. Julian Carron, president of the Fraternity of Communion and Liberation, as well as several scholars and representatives from other religions are featured. La Strada Bella goes around the world to tell the story of those who lived an essential Christianity, just like a priest from Milan named Luigi Giussani did 60 years ago. <laughs>